no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video on UMRV. Today, we're going to finish up planting some wheat and get started on planting our corn and hopefully uh, get as much planting of that done as we can today. Because uh, if you remember from yesterday's video, I had bought in these two planters and uh, or these two drills, excuse me. And uh, we got started on this field and just about finished it as you can tell. We just did not quite get it all done. If only it had been a little bit faster or had a little bit more time, but uh, I kind of like to keep the videos around a half hour, as many of you guys know. Uh, just because my personal preference, usually about a half hour video is as long as I can stand to watch. Anything longer, I start kind of skipping through it and uh, not really caring anymore. And plus, kind of my max is recording a half hour video. Of course, I am recording quite a few here at one time, but kind of taking a break in between them. Uh, and also, they're just, you know, a half hour video to export from Shotcut usually takes around a half hour 45 minutes and then to upload on a good day it'll take a half hour for the upload uh, itself that's not including the processing and then but most of the time it usually takes around an hour to upload hour hour and a half to upload the entire video like including the uploading and the processing parts so So a half hour video is about the most ideal thing. So we are just about done with this, so then once we do finish, we'll uh, take the drills and the tractor to the yard. We will we'll just fill the drills probably. Uh, maybe not. <coughs> um, we'll, we'll just park the drills in the yard. Uh, somewhere near the pressure washer for now and then we'll wash them up after planting season is over um, you know, we'll wash them up when when we're all done and get them put away then all right and that is a wrap so G or B V X Q Fold this in, turn it off, fold it, or lift it up, fold it. Alright. So now we'll hook these two together, and we will take them to the farm, and we'll park them. And we got a fast forward time one day. We'll plant some corn. And then, uh, uh, Yeah, we'll fast forward that one day so we can start planting our corn and then we'll get that planted and uh, get going. So both of these should be folded. Yes, cool. Uh, we're going to take out that sign just about. Actually, we probably would have. I think that sign probably... I don't think you can actually knock that one over like you can a lot of these other signs road signs and stuff I think you can knock all those over I've hit quite a few signs already but uh, I think like when you save the game and exit and then come back I think they reset or at least some of them do I've noticed I don't think all of them do but I've seen quite a few of them uh, that have and we just wiped out the dog there <laughs> It would be kind of cool if the dogs could be like realistic where you know if they if you got close to them with the tractor and stuff they would move but we 
and same with like the chickens and all that that everything like just kind of got out of the way for you but at least they don't die if you run them over I guess that's one good thing alright so let's get hooked on to this we're already selected on corn which is good so we'll take this and we will refill it get fast forwarded a day here. Really? Oh, 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 oh. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. I got it. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and fast forward one day here. sign out of steam all right so we are at six o'clock in the morning I love this sky texture here I think I'm gonna have to put this on my uh, work in progress map here so we'll go to eight o'clock perfect now then like a little early morning uh, planting here so now what do we got for a growth stage? I'm hoping that it's still in the first stage uh, for the wheat. Because once it enters another stage, then we got to start fertilizing. And I don't want to have to be doing too many things at once. Well, of course, I can't really do them all at once because I'm not going to use course play. Especially since I have all of my courses from my large save game for whatever odd reason uh, we need to put check on here all right we're going to field 55 to plant some corn I don't know why my AI AI extension came up there alternative helper off please there we go all right so field 55 is just down the road here uh, if we look we should be oh yeah we are a-okay to plant now Just head on down to our cornfield. I think if this planter was four rows, we could do all the con uh, all the corn planting in cab because it'd be pretty easy. You just drive right next to the grass on the first pass, and right next to the. Uh, um, to the planted field on the uh, next pass. So, if you remember when we were like cultivating and plowing, we just drove all the way down to that end down there. Uh, yeah, I didn't really realize that there was a field entrance right here. And then I happened to notice it at some point in time. I don't know how I noticed it. I think I was maybe like watching somebody's live stream or something on this map. No, oh, it just doesn't make a sound. When it first turns on. Alright. So we'll get this corn planted now. If only we had that same setup uh, with corn planter as we did the drills, we could really plant some corn and some soybeans when it comes to that time.
I probably could have set my seasons length seasons length to maybe like six days. I think that could have been quite enough time, but I'm okay with nine. Uh, actually, let's hop out here once. Let's take a run through here and let's go check out the progress of our wheat field if we can find our way out of these trees. There we go. So it's, yeah, it's still in the first seeded stage. I think it does take a couple of days. Uh, it'll be, it'll be more into like days four and stuff like that that it uh, starts growing. It's always towards the end of the, uh, you know, towards the end of the season, towards the end of that growth stage there as well. So. So we still have a couple of days. I suppose about by the time we, uh, about the same day that we start planting soybeans, we can start fertilization, I would think. I don't know, I'd have to figure that out some, I guess, but... Or at least fertilizing our wheat, our corn would, would be a little bit later. I think about the time that we do the second round of fertilizer on our wheat field, we'd be just about ready to do the first round on our corn. Same with soybeans, about the second round of corn fertilizer would be the first round of soybean fertilizer, I think. I don't get what's up with that church. Uh, that's the church from County Line, I think. And even in 15, it still acted really wonky like that. I don't know what the deal is with it. Something's messed up in the textures on it, I guess. That's all that I can tell, I guess. But what exactly it is, I have zero idea. Definitely gonna be making a few trips back and forth to the farm with this planter. But the good thing is, is we can just sneak through field 27 to go get seed. Uh, we can just go out of that uh, approach there, come in that one, and just drive along that grass there and a little bit into the field, but can uh, make it a little bit quicker to get up there to get seed. We should be able to plant a fair amount before uh, we have to refill. This drill or this corn planter is about perfect for our uh, kind of theme of equipment here. But the only thing that really is, only things that really aren't going with that theme is our, uh, our tipper trailer, our plow, and our sprayer. 
but uh, everything else is kind of all on the same theme. Of course, our pickup is newer too, along with the PJ, but those don't really matter that much. Goodness. One of my favorite things about this map though is just how realistic it is to, you know, a lot of like farms in real life. Um, you know, having the grain bins and having them spread out because a lot of times, you know, a farm's green bins aren't all in one area. And, you know, just the, the setup of the farms even. And just all of the details. It's a very well done map. I really, really am enjoying it. It's about the best map that I've played so far in 17 and out of quite a few maps in 15 even. more and then we'll start doing some up and down passes of course I will use GPS for those just to kind of well maybe I don't know it'll depend on how we plant I guess yeah I think I'll just use GPS and go north south in this field our way over this way until we get close into this little piece here and then kind of just cut it off and plant it on its own. Now all these fields they all have one thing in common. They all have the same spot where it or the same general area that they kind of split off when you're doing any field work in them. And after you go around so many times, it gets narrow in that one spot, and then after a while, you just kind of cut off that one section. And there's always, you know, at least that one section that's cut off from the rest of the field. You know, in this field, it just so happens to be this little area. Field 28 and 29, it kind of, each patch cuts off at some point, and that's about it. The other fields, they're really kind of on their own. They all kind of stick together in a way. So this first north-south pass, we're going to kind of do a lot of overlap just to make sure that my GPS course is going to line up uh, okay. So, just to make sure of that. Just because of how the, you know, with that edge, it kind of moves over after a little bit. So I'm just going to do a bunch of overlap. Make sure that I got a straight edge. Okay, so I think we'll start it out right here. Seven? No, that's not seven. We'll just bring it down to six meters. Leave it right where it was. 
then we do have a little bit of overlap and a little bit of wiggle room there and actually this this really does line up with the planter uh, better than seven meters did of course I'm sure when it said seven meters it was also incorporating this little bit of you know how it goes out past the edge of the planter I'm sure it was kind of figuring that in but I can't always count on that because sometimes it comes into play and sometimes it does not uh, it's kind of funny how it does that to just my chair a little bit here try and sit in a little bit different of a way and be a little more comfortable in this chair I guess another thing too is once we finish these passes with the GPS we don't really need the GPS to go in and fill in all those other passes because it's you know, they're all less than a planter width alright so we are fully out of seed now oops wrong pedal so we're gonna lift up we're gonna just shut the GPS off for now just then we don't have to watch the lines continuously. Alright, so now get out of this field and head up and refill. So here I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I mean cutting across come in here and we'll drive in the grass along the bottom of this field. We will just kind of have to drive on the field a little bit, but thankfully we can because there is nothing in this field fortunately. So. Alright, topped off. Let's see if we can make this turn. Yes, perfect. And then we just head right on back to the field. Pretty quick and easy uh, little fill up there. Alrighty, and here we are. We'll just get locked onto our GPS course, drop the planner, and turn it on. And away we go. We're back at it. I don't really need to see the lines, I guess. It's pretty easy to judge the turns. That was one too many passes there. There we go. That's the right spot now. I have a feeling this little uh, area here where it isn't quite that smooth, I have a feeling that's going to be an issue with our corn header. I'm hoping not, but I have a feeling it will. I'm just going to check here. What are we doing for time? Another five minutes. Okay. So I think what I will do, just to try and speed this along is off camera I will get um, the rest of these first passes done on this field 
you know, all the way over to where I cut off that section over there. And then, I mean, we will get quite a bit planted, but then that way when we come back, all we got left is to pick up these pieces, uh, you know, of skipped rows, and then do that little section over there in the corner. And then we'll be done with our corn. So it should be able to be done in the next video, but... Okay, I really think that now I should actually go to uh, 7 meters because... Now maybe it'll be, the passes will be actually where they should. But we'll find out, just to double check, uh, I'll skip a row and then come back and plant that row. Just to make sure that everything's going to work. That it's not going to be like missing a whole bunch, because if it is, then we'll drop it maybe half a meter or something. We'll drop it to like 6.5 meters maybe. Versus being planting at six meters. So it is planting the full in between the lines. Of course on the one side it's planting a little bit more, but it's definitely a much bigger pass than uh, those three. So I think we'll be good run it here at seven meters now instead oh that's the pipe we should shorten that up just a little bit there um, well move it up higher it look kind of goofy so I think it should have a uh, the guy that did this tractor should have made the pipe just a little bit shorter. That way it wouldn't be sticking out right there. But I might edit this tractor because of the steps and stuff. Might have to go go in and fix it. Which I might might do a little bit of work on some of these things. I see this chrome here isn't textured either but um some of these old iron mods I might go in and like do some fixes to just to kind of change some of the stuff and change some of these dirt textures because I don't know I don't really care for these dirt textures that are currently on it I just don't just don't like it not a fan of it So what are our daily maintenance? Excuse me. Daily maintenance costs at the moment. Vehicle running costs. That's not what I want. So thirty-two dollars, five dollars. I think that's like the maintenance or something. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure what all the symbols are. Symbols. What they all are. And we finished up that wheat and we're getting, uh. We're about. Not far off from halfway done with our, uh. Corn, too, here. So we're making. We're making really, really good progress in this series. I'm quite happy with it, actually. So yeah, like I said, what I'll do is I'll finish up 
making these first round passes um, off camera and then I think I'll just plant that little section too so that way when we come back tomorrow all we got left is these ups and downs yes I get it if it would go away the first three times that I click it but yeah so that's what I'll do off camera um, is just finish up these first round passes and get that little section planted that I cut off or that I will cut off there um, so that's what I will do off camera and then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll be finishing up the uh, finishing up the planting of the corn and getting ready to either plant our soybeans or do some fertilizer we'll have to see uh, where exactly we're at in our growth stages once we get to the point in time where we can plant soybeans but that is going to do it for today so if you guys enjoy the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video make sure you check out down below in the description I got my PC specs down there uh, my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social media accounts and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always we will see you tomorrow.